this week our Black Friday idea aligns with the F for fun. It comes from a game show with the same name called Minute to Win It, and it's taken off and been adapted for home use. So if you haven't heard of a Minute to Win It game, um, super basic, kind of self-explanatory. You have 60 seconds to perform some type of task. So there is an element of competitiveness. Um, and most of the tasks are pretty, um, can be a little ridiculous. So it's very comical for the people that are watching as well as the people that are participating in the games. So a lot of times, um, one of the things, if you Google it, that you'll see is cup stacking, which is super basic. A lot of people have plastic cups at their house, or you can get them at the Dollar Tree pretty inexpensively. I've seen things, um, one of the funny ones is where you put a cookie on your forehead and you try to shimmy it um, down to your mouth using nothing but your facial muscles. Um, and you don't want it to hit the ground, obviously. Um, there's others involving straws where you um, can make these little caterpillars out of paper or blowing um, or even using straws to pick up like M&Ms and things like that. And whoever gets the most wins. Um, and even things like nuts. My husband's a mechanic, so we have tons of um, nuts, bolts, screws laying around the house. And so I've seen one where you take it and you're using chopsticks or um, skewers to see how many of these nuts that you can stack um, successfully within 60 seconds. So it's all kinds of odd tasks that you're trying to complete within a minute time frame. So... Thinking from that Flex Friday point of view, some possibilities that you might have, because this could be a great activity for the family. Even though my daughter is on the younger side, she's getting ready to turn three. Last year at her birthday, for the older cousins and um, our friends who had older kids, we did Minute to Win It games for the, um, for the kids. Even Ellie participated in some. But the four, five, six year olds and older, even the adults. But thinking from a teacher's point of view, you could create choice boards that families could take and then pick games off of there to play as a family. You could feature a different game each week um, so that if families were looking for something fun just to break up the tedium of being at home, they could um, have that idea. You could make it a class competition, which I think would be hilarious. Um, that if you set some kind of game to see who can do X, Y, Z in a minute um, and whoever does the most could win some kind of prize or something like that. Um, you could take the idea of a minute to win it and pair it with something like a flip grid. So if you gave them a choice board or something like that, or even if they wanted to do a video submission of their um, minute to win it competition like you were doing a class competition you could run that through flipgrid really easily because a lot of our kids are used to using that platform or other types of video submissions because like i said it's really fun for the people participating but it's also really fun for spectators as well and it's a way to just have some light-hearted fun some things to consider as if this is an idea that sparks your interest is age of students. So there are some of these minute to win it games that require a lot of fine motor skills, which might even be really good practice for some of our young younger students who are developing those skills. But just keep in mind the age of our students and what we're asking them to do. Some of the tasks might be appropriate or not for certain groups of students. And then with that idea of appropriate, there are some pretty outlandish um, and maybe not so appropriate for school minute to win it games. So if you're throwing out resources or ideas for family, just kind of keep that in mind. And then also for materials required. A lot of the minute to win it games, um, if they use materials, are things that families might have on hand or things that you could find at the Dollar Tree. Super cheap. Um, but just kind of keep that in mind that you might you don't want to give an idea where it's going to cost a lot of money to be able to play that as a family. To get you started, I created a document that has a couple links in there that you can start exploring. Um, 
you can navigate there using the bit.ly on your screen.